Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my Fred Sona vlog. This is going to be one of the last ones of 2018, which I mean, 2018 was like, whew. I think I wrote on Instagram, somebody said 2018 tried to kill everybody. <laughs> and it's like, that's how I felt. So, um, this will be, there'll be one more and then that'll be it for the year. But I, and I did take a couple days off because the year between Christmas and New Year, I mean the, the week between Christmas and New Year's to me is always like a time of assessment, you know, assessing the year that's gone past and really, really getting deep into what you want to let go and not bring into the new year because it seems like in the recent past, in the, la in the past years, I've had really deep um, sort of revelations at the end of the year between Christmas and New Year's about really what I want to let go, you know, like what's no longer working. And especially this year, it's so important because I think this year for everybody and certainly for me, whew, it was all these realizations and all this, all these lessons and all these transitions. I mean, I had so many friends pass away, so many jobs changed or lost, mine included. I mean, like out of the blue, just craziness this year. All this political drama, a lot of intense energy. And so this time of year, be easy on yourself and nurture yourself and and really get to a place of understanding of maybe why, you know, you, first of all, understand what you want to let go. I mean, that's critical. Get, get really real about what you, you don't want to drag into the new year and then get really clear about what you want to manifest in the new year. Like really, really what you want to manifest because time is on warp speed. And so, we have to make things happen now. And so first you get those two things clear in your mind. What do I want to leave behind and what I want to bring forward and manifest? And then going even further, it's a really good time to look at why, why we manifested what we did in this year. Like, why did we need to go through all this stuff? And, you know, not to belabor it or to make yourself feel bad in any way about it, but I've talked many times about how we're so in control of our lives and we don't realize in what we manifest every single moment is what we think, what we say, what we do, da 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 da, -da down the line. And so if it was a difficult year, there were a lot of people manifesting these lessons these profound lessons, but to what end? Okay, so why did I need to get to the bottom of all this relationship stuff? Why did it need to be so difficult and so like, oh God, because they needed to learn lessons, right? And I think when there's a whole lot of people having to deal with lessons and transitions and all sorts of stuff that can be very difficult, I believe it has to do with the expansion of consciousness of humankind as a whole and for a reason maybe greater than at this point we even understand yet. And that's profound. So it's really important that we not beat ourselves up, but don't take this stuff lightly because it's serious. And these were serious times. This has been serious you know, energies this whole year, really powerful, intense, you know, balls to the wall type, like, okay, I got to get to the bottom of some stuff, you know, type energy. And so be easy on yourself, but think about those things. What you want to let go, what you want to bring into the new year or manifest and why you manifested the things you did, because being able to can take, take control of this new year, the, the new year is going to be very powerfully positive. And I'm going to talk about that in my last blog of the year, but it's time to really take control of our power and what we want to bring into our lives. And I'm saying that to myself. <laughs> and that's why I do these blogs because I want to learn and remember 
all of the things that I know and I need to put into practice. Okay, so I've got 54 minutes. It's 130. It's nighttime. I didn't do it in the daytime today. I just waited till the evening. It's Saturday night and I'm in my sauna. <laughs> um, so I'm going to meditate now and think about those things that I just talked about. And so I send blessings to everybody, especially in this time of the year when things can be so raw and emotional. Be easy on yourself, like I said, but it's time. Okay, blessings. Peace. Amen.